Yo, what is up, everybody? It is your boy, Ringo J, and I am here to give you three QB prospects that I feel like the Chicago Bears should be looking at to at least compete with Mitchell Trubisky. Cue the intro, baby! All one, all two, all three. Stop it! Did not do it like that! Mercy! Did you not get the memo? Let, let's cut down to the chase. Um, Ryan Pace came out a couple of days ago. Say he still believes in Mitch. Says they need weapons. Um, Matt Nagy, on the other hand, just I, I feel like he's fed up. Like he knows that Mitch is tied to his job. He wants Mitch to do better, and there's things that he knows Mitch has to improve on. Like one, reading defenses. Two, hitting people in the hands. He just got to be better, cause being nice is not gonna win you games. So. With that being said, I'm going to give you three QB prospects that I feel like the Bears can realistically get and should be looking at in this draft. First quarterback prospect. Who is it? Washington quarterback Jacob Eason. Now look, he was he was already at Georgia. He was already at Georgia because I know that I've seen him somewhere. He was already at Georgia. I think he was playing... I, th I think he either started or was playing behind from or something like that. What I can tell from this dude is basically he can make all the throws. He can make all the throws, back shoulder, back shoulder fades, throw it down the seams. He can, he can even do the big throws. There's no, he doesn't, he doesn't really put you at risk. Um, he can even, when you get inside the five or when you get inside the goal line, he can even do your little, like, you know, Tom Brady. He, he can run in there. He's a, he's a little mobile. He does have pocket presence to the point where he can get out of the pocket and make some things happen, which I like. He can definitely make all the throws, which I'm excited about. So I'm going to get down to the other two. Second prospect, Jordan Love. Now, full disclosure, I knew who Jordan Love was. He plays at Utah State. Now, that's not a really known school. I mean, stadium streams their games. I don't know if anybody has that. But yeah, stadium streams their games. I don't think like it's a well-known football school. I know, I know they do some things in basketball, but with that being said, Jordan Love is my next prospect. The reason why Jordan Love is my next prospect and low key, he can be a dark horse, is because of the simple fact people know him, but not a lot of people know him. But at the same time, he gives you like if if you look at him on tape, bro, like he legit gives you that Pat Mahomes fact, like that Pat Mahomes factor. I'm not gonna say that he is Pat Mahomes because I don't believe he is, but he does give you that Pat Mahomes factor to the point where he has pocket presence. He can get out of the pocket, and he makes baseball throws. He can make all of the throws, I am telling you. He can't, he, I don't think he can get up like Pat out of the pocket, but he can definitely, he got that A-Rod, he got that A-Rod type to him. So that's definitely nice to see. The only thing that I don't like about him and my trepidation about him is this. Some of the throws he makes, I, I don't like the risk that he puts you in. Like, he throws up stuff that sometimes, like, you'll be looking at that and be like, oh, that should be a pick. Like, I don't, I don't know how we got that. And that happened too many times on video for me to see, which is why I, I would definitely take him, but that's something that he'll have to learn and cut down, but... Other than that, that's definitely my number two guy. My number one guy would definitely have to be Jalen Hurts. The reason why Jalen Hurts is my number one guy is because of the simple fact. You got coached up by Lincoln Riley, who has taken, taken Baker Mayfield, done things with him. Um, he made, everybody was talking about he wasn't a, he, he couldn't throw. He couldn't throw. He wasn't a quarterback. He was a running back. Me included, I definitely said that. I'm not even going to cap. 
Pepper no cap, I'm not, I'm not going to cap. I definitely said that about him. I said they couldn't throw the football. He gets with Lincoln Riley. He's throwing dots. Now, he can. He has everything that I feel like Nagy's looking for. Like, he's got an arm. He can run. The only thing about him is, one, an accuracy issue. Two, sliding. Okay. I, I, I don't see him sliding. He, he more like... He tries to get out of bounds, but, like, he's taking, like, more hits while he's trying to get out of bounds instead of just sliding. And then my third thing is, can he read defenses? And that's the problem with Mitch right now is that he can't read defenses. Matt Nagy reads defenses better than him. That, like, that's the problem. My, that's my third issue is that he can't read defenses. So, with that being said, I feel like... He, he's the number one dude to take, but those are things that you can teach. And that's definitely somebody I feel like Nagy will be looking out for. Now, the thing is, with Lamar, with him, Lamar Jackson had success in the NFL with the Ravens. So, you know this is a copycat league. They may take him early, but if they don't, if they don't because they don't like what they see or they feel like it can't translate, I feel like the Bears should swoop down. And especially with them having second round picks, you should take them early. I feel like you should take them early. So with that being said, it's your boy Ringo J. Gonna get up out of here. Peace.